assalamu alaikum boys and girls welcome you back to the online classes today we are going to discuss about the acceleration due to gravity free fall and the terminal velocity as uh, all, all of you know that the earth attracts every object towards its center with a force which is called gravity so the pull of the gravity is exerting on every object and you know that that pull of the gravity is called the weight you people are familiar with this formula weight is equal to m into g where m stands for the mass of the object and g is force of gravity or we also call it acceleration due to gravity its value is if we consider it as a force then it is its value is 9.81 newton per kilogram and if if you consider it as an acceleration then its value is 9.81 meter per second square but in your syllabus we consider this value to be 10 in your syllabus we'll be using value of g to be 10 meter per second square instead of 9.81 <clears throat> when we say free fall then we consider an object falling without exerting any force in or near the surface of earth near the surface of earth means that uh, Uh, about within one kilometer height from the surface of the earth, and if an object is falling in air, in the beginning, when we release an object, its weight is acting downward. let me use the larger space in the beginning when we release the objects its speed is zero and its weight is acting downward which is due to the gravity of the earth and which pulls it downward because of this weight there is an a constant acceleration in the object acceleration means the change in the speed so the speed changes at a rate then meter per second square means after every second the change in the speed will be 10 meter per second so after 1 second after 1 second the speed of the object will be 10 meter per second so the weight is pulling it down and due to this weight the acceleration acceleration means the change in the speed is 10 meter per second so after 1 second the speed of the object will be as we release the acceleration
the increase in the speed the air resistance acts upward which affects the effect of the weight now in next second we were expecting the speed of the object to be 20 but instead of 20 it would be it would be greater than v1 but not equal to 20 so let's suppose it is Eighteen meter per second instead of twenty. We were expecting the change to be ten meter per second, but because of the air resistance, the effect of the weight is reduced due to which the acceleration is reduced. So now I have considered it is not exact value. I have considered the change as eight meter per second. In first second, weight was pulling it down, acceleration was 10, this, because this acceleration is caused by the weight. After one second, the speed has increased from 0 to 10, but when the speed increases, the air resistance is involved, which is acting in upward direction. It affects the action of the weight on the object, due to which in next second, the acceleration would be less as compared to the first second because the effect of the weight has been reduced. So I'm sub I have supposed that in next second acceleration is eight. It is not exact value. I have just supposed it. Therefore, the change in the velocity now is eight. So velocity from ten to eighteen. Further. During this motion, at a certain stage, due to increase in the speed, the air resistance keeps on increasing. And at a certain stage, the air resistance becomes equal to the weight. So when air resistance becomes equal to the weight, it cancels the effect of the weight. So, as the acceleration change in the speed was caused by the weight, when acceleration, when the resistance becomes equal to weight, so the weight, the effect of weight on the body is cancelled. Now, acceleration becomes zero. At this stage, acceleration becomes zero. Suppose speed now is about 25. At this stage, because acceleration is zero, at this stage, so speed won't change because acceleration causes the change or acceleration is a change in the speed. Because the acceleration is zero, there is no effect of the weight. Weight has been canceled by the air resistance. So the object keeps on moving in with the same speeds. Now this constant speed or velocity is called terminal velocity. The object keeps on falling with this velocity that is called the terminal velocity. So when the object has achieved the terminal velocity, when because of the increase in speed, the resistance becomes equal to the weight. At this stage, there will be no acceleration because the weight effect of the weight has been cancelled by the resistance. So acceleration was caused by a weight right from the beginning. Acceleration is caused by the weight. Acceleration is caused by the effect of the weight. As the weight decreases, acceleration decreases. So during the motion, at a certain stage, the weight and resistance become equal, so acceleration is zero, so velocity or speed becomes constant. 
so object keeps on falling towards the earth with the same until it hits the ground if we draw the graph velocity time graph for this motion this is the falling of the object in air free fall in air so that what happens when the object falls in air if we draw its graph in the beginning So as you, as you can see from the graph in the beginning the line is almost straight the so straight line represents the constant acceleration of 10 meter per second in one second it was almost straight in second second 1 to 2 in second second from 1 to 2 there is a decrease the it is becoming a curve so there is a decrease in the shape of uh, there is a decrease in the acceleration as it is shown here that there instead of 10 we have an acceleration of 8 meter per second so decrease is shown by the curve in third second that decreases to zero so that the line become horizontal this horizontal line represents zero acceleration and constant speed or velocity as you can see at this stage the velocity remains constant so this part is shown this part is shown over here after third second so in the first second the line is almost straight the straight line represents 10 meter per second square in second second it is bending slightly and finally it becomes a straight line horizontal line so the horizontal line is representing the acceleration to be zero when the resistance air resistance is equal to the weight and the speed is constant at this stage when object hits the ground its speed will immediately become zero so here object hits ground so when it hits the ground its speed immediately within no time becomes zero the final part of the line showing the object hitting the ground so so every object when it is falling in air so in the beginning as we release the object its speed is zero but acceleration is 10 meter per second and what is bringing it down its weight and the weight is because of the gravity so that's why this acceleration with which it is falling is called acceleration due to gravity and this acceleration is caused by the pull of the gravity or the weight of the object and as i said in the beginning start the velocity is zero acceleration is 10 right at the beginning as it falls its speed increases in one second the speed becomes 10 meter per second because the acceleration is 10 it means the change in the speed will be 10 so speed changes from 0 to 10 in next second because object has some speed so air resistance is involved and it is acting upward so upward resistance air resistance actually nullifies the weight so it affects the weight of the object so in second second the change in the speed will be slightly less as compared to the first second so in the first second i have considered 10 meter per second change in second 
8 meter per second change. So speed changes from 10 to 18. During the fall, there will be a stage when air resistance becomes equal to the weight. Air resistance and weight becomes, both becomes equal. So at this stage, because effect of the weight is cancelled, so acceleration is zero because it was caused by the weight. So because there is no change in the, there is no acceleration, so there is no change in speed. So I suppose it's at this stage, the speed is 25. So object keeps on falling with this speed or velocity that is called terminal velocity. And that's what I have shown in this graph. So this is a graph of a free fall in air. If an object is falling in vacuum, there, when there is no air, as we release the object, its speed is zero, acceleration is 10. Weight is acting down. So after one second, its speed becomes 10 meter per second. And because there is it's a vacuum, vacuum means there is no air. So there is no air resistance. And next second, the speed becomes 20 because Free fall in vacuum, as I said, as we release the object, initial speed is zero. Acceleration is 10 meter per second square as before. Weight is pulling it down. After one second, the change in the speed is 10, zero to 10. Because there is no air, so there is no air resistance. So acceleration remains the same because acceleration was caused by the weight. So weight, there is no change in the weight. So there is no change in acceleration. So in another second, the speed, change in speed will be same. So speed changes from 10 to 20. So object keeps on falling with the same acceleration. So if there is vacuum, there is no air, then the object keeps on falling with same acceleration 10 meter per second square there will be no change and the reason is because there is no air there is no air resistance so there is no change in weight which is causing this acceleration weight remains constant acceleration remains constant so in vacuum if we drop two objects like a coin and a feather both will fall simultaneously on the ground the both will fall with the same speed. The reason is in air, when we release a feather, air resistance on it is much greater than the air resistance on the coin. So that's why the normal in our normal experience, when we draw a feather and a coin together, the coin falls faster, much faster than the feather. The reason is air resistance on the feather is much more than on the coin. So the feather achieves the terminal velocity much earlier than the coin. So it falls gradually to the ground. That's what happens in our everyday life. But in vacuum, 
both coin and feather falls together because there is no air so feather has no air resistance coin has no air resistance so both will be falling simultaneously so this acceleration or the speeds of the object is independent of their weight doesn't matter object is lighter or heavier both will be falling at the same speed both will be having same acceleration only the effect the change is caused by the air if it is falling in air the air resistance affects the motion that affects the motion that opposes the motion air resistance due to which the feather and the coin has different motions but in vacuum as i told you the weight or size or <coughs> shape has no effect because the effect was caused by the air as there is no air in vacuum so both to fall together so in vacuum if you draw the graph in vacuum if you draw the graph we will get something like if i draw velocity time graph in vacuum then it will be a straight line why it is a straight line because acceleration is constant velocity time graph represents the acceleration so acceleration is constant until object hits the ground when it hits the ground its speed decreases to zero the speed decreases to zero immediately <coughs> i hope you understood it i have given the worksheet at the end of the lesson i'll send you a very worksheet relate and that worksheet deal with the graphs of free fall in air or in vacuum so i hope you will try inshallah and uh, if there is any question you can ask me after few minutes this is all for from me thank you very much